hey, 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 it's your boy Abu, ABU, because you can't be me. I'm coming at y'all again to drop y'all to quit jewel. You already know. Welcome to church. Quit brain enhancement, tune up using this. The Holy Bible, like I said last time, I ain't I ain't here to change the non-believer to a believer, but I'm talking to the believers that don't know the laws and don't read the book. And I'm taking them through the stuff in the book that they don't know. You know what I'm saying? Waking them up, having them follow the laws. Yes, sir. You want results? You need to follow the laws. Yes, sir. So basically, last time I was up here, I was talking about patience. So basically, I'm going to just continue that. I'm going to grow on that, but not really patient, but the same concept. We're talking about time. So I'm going to hit y'all quick signs real quick. Quick sign. It's 24 hours in a day, right? All right. They say that the average man needs six to eight hours of sleep, right? All right. And then you work a nine to five. That's 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right, so you work eight hours, you sleep eight hours, that two-thirds of your day gone, right? So now you got to ask yourself, what you going to do with them last eight hours? Hmm? What you going to Because you got to really look at it like this. Like, you don't really have 24 hours left in this day. What you really have is 24 hours left in your life because... In the in the in the in Proverbs chapter twenty seven verse one, God said, "Do not boast about tomorrow, for you do not know what a day may bring. You don't know if you're gonna be here tomorrow. So think of today as your last day of your life, and make the best out of the day. You get what I'm saying? Make the best out of the day. So you got three sections. You can split your life basically your life split up in three sections. You got sleep, you got work, and you got the other eight hours, right? But so ask yourself." With them last eight hours, what are you doing? Sleeping, daydreaming, probably working overtime. So now that you're working 10 hours instead of eight hours, or probably sleeping overtime. <laughs> you know, you might come home and take a power nap. So how much time do you got for the Lord? How much time do you got for yourself? If you spend eight hours at a work, you spend eight hours making somebody else plans and dream come to light. So now you got to start wondering, how can I make time? For my own dreams. Because God said, I mean, because the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 28, verse 19, whoever work his land will have plenty of bread, but he who follow worthlessness or worthless pursuits will have plenty of poverty. Yes, sir, we have plenty of poverty. Now let's talk about it. Whoever work his land will have plenty of bread. Bread meaning food or money. Yes, sir. So whoever work will have plenty of money. Mm. But what is work? Because you think it to yourself, yeah, I work right now, but I don't have plenty of money. Well, the definition of work is something a person or thing has to do, which is what you most likely doing if you you working, but you ain't having plenty of money. You just working because you have to do it, because you have to pay the bills, because you have to survive. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Or you can it's an activity involving mental or physical effort done in order to achieve a purpose or result. That's the kind of work you want to do. You want to work with purpose. Use your mental and your physical and, and work with purpose. Right? Because in Proverbs 21, verse 5, the thoughts of the diligent tend only to plentiness, but of every that is hasty, only to one. So you need to work with purpose, work with diligence, work, plan. You need to plan your work. Hmm? Yes, sir. You need to plan your work. So you want to work with diligence. Plan your work. If you work what if you work fast, that fast money. Think about it like that. Hasty. Hasty doesn't mean urgent. So you just say you work fast. Uh, uh, fast money. You will never get enough money. You'll never get enough money. You just go be constantly working fast, 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 fast. Mm, mm, mm. Man, you got, you might have more money than me, but you don't, you feel like you need more. And I got 10 times less than you, and I'm, I'm living my best life. I'm satisfied. You know what I'm saying? Not that, that just, you know, because I'm working, I'm bringing in nice income, nice income, but it will, I was patient. It's what I plant for. You know what I'm saying? Now, everybody know this little verse right here with God. On um, what what the book go ahead and say that in Matthew chapter six verse twenty four that no man can serve two master for he will only hate one and love the other you can't serve God and money right but what you don't know see Satan Satan gonna give you money Satan go make you work make you expose yourself for money he don't care he gonna make you work and expose yourself for money for pay cause you working you ain't praying you ain't Blessing, you ain't thinking, you ain't giving grace to God. He wants you working. But God gonna give God will give you money too, but God will give you money in a different way. See, first off, God get wealth. God get wealth. That person that you work for, he's wealthy. 
God get wealth. That person you work for is wealthy. He's wealthy. He's wealthy. The person that you work for is wealthy. So you want people to work for you. But check me out. Right here in Deuteronomy chapter, chapter 8, verse 18. But remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives the ability to produce wealth. So God gives the ability to produce wealth. And the ability is the skill to do something. God not going to give you 25 fishes. He going to tell you how to go out there and fish and grab 25 fish for yourself. God not going to give you money. He going to give you an idea to make money. But Satan just going to give you the money. And you get that money easy. And you know what I'm saying? And mess with your head. God, God going to give you the ability. Yes, sir. He going he to give you the ability to make that bread. You know what I'm saying? Now, right here. Listen, listen, though. Listen to them. But when you get that idea, I want you to see it like this. Right here in Proverbs. See, Proverbs. I love Proverbs. That's a good boy. Read Proverbs. It's going to really walk you through how to be a businessman, how to make money, how to live life, how to just plan anything out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Proverbs chapter 16, verse 9. In their heart, human plan their course. You plan your course. So, for example, what you want to be? You want to be an entrepreneur, right? You want to be a doctor. You want to be... A singer, what he gonna do? You gonna set that seed that yeah, I want to be a singer, but then, but the Lord established the steps. So the Lord gonna tell you to go do this. I don't care if it's five, six o'clock in the morning. You need to get up and go do that. But it, that's the Lord telling you to do it. You know what I'm saying? So when the Lord tell you to do it, it goes seem something like, whoa, this is extraordinary. You know what I'm saying? Because he extraordinary. You know what I'm saying? So remember, you make you you make you make the plan. He put the steps. I'm going I'm, 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 I'm to huh? But he, he made the steps. Yes, sir. But just remember that. The Lord. The Lord want to see you wealthy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because he, he got a kingdom. And every king. Want, to, want his kingdom. To be wealthy. Want his people to be wealthy. He want people to look at you and be like. That's a child of God. But see. So I'm telling y'all right now. Right now, laws. We're not talking no, I'm not talking no miracles, no look at nothing blind. I'm talking about believing the Lord and believing the laws that He left for you and putting them laws to work and watch everything come. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, like I said again, it's your boy Abu, A B U, because you can't be me, be yourself. Yes, sir. And, you know, I just came in and dropped y'all, give y'all another tuner, another brain tuner, another brain enhancement. Yes, sir. All right. One, one.